when we meditate, we're trying to bring the mind into the present moment so it can watch itself. Because if you're not watching the mind, it can come up with all kinds of ideas and decisions that you're only dimly aware of. And yet these are the things that shape your life. So you want to look into see well, who's making the decisions here and on what basis. So you've got to get the mind really quiet. It's not just to rest. I mean, resting is an important part of the meditation. Because if you're feeling frazzled, you're not going to want to look into the ways in which the mind has been harming itself. You don't like to look at your own faults. It's like someone came to you and was trying to tell you about what was wrong with you. If you were tired and hungry and thirsty, you wouldn't have any time or any inclination to want to listen. But if you were well rested and feeling content and feeling secure, okay, then you'd be willing to listen to see if there are some ways that you can improve your own behavior. And it's the same with the mind. We've got to give it a place to rest so it can gather its strength and recover from its tiredness, heal its wounds. But then you have to look d deeper in. Go, where are these wounds coming from? And they're not all coming from outside. The really bad ones are coming from inside. So you've got to look inside. That's why the mind has to be really stable in order to do this, because otherwise you go flitting off after other things. So you try to stay right here with the breath. Otherwise your mind is like those hummingbirds out there. They run around the slightest little sound and they're off, constantly squabbling with one another. There's plenty of food for them. The mind is always squabbling with itself. So you want to look at this. Why is the mind like a hummingbird? What can we do to settle it down? So at the very least you can see what's going on and you can be present for the decisions that are really shaping your life. And you can you get some conscious input. That means you can shape your life in a better direction. So settle in for the time being, but be prepared that once you're settled in, there's work to do. But it's work in a good place, work on a good job. Noble work, rewarding work. A work that really does make a difference in your mind and in your life.